Wait, solo? Doesn't that mean alone? Okay, so let me introduce myself. My name is Akemi, and for those who know me, you know I love adventure. And what better adventure than to go off into the wilderness by myself. This will be my very first time backpacking solo. But trust me, I'm prepared, and I am ready for adventure! So I just stopped to pick up some duct tape from Target. Actually, I stopped to go to the bathroom. Target's like the best place. I've tried stopping at gas stations before, and they're, they haven't been letting me in. It's the COVID, and I know that Target is, is the place. And then I decided to get some duct tape. Gatorade. I entered the park through the Indian Cove entrance off of Highway 62 and parked at the Boy Scout Trail Trailhead. At the trailhead, you can register with um, a little yellow tag that lets the rangers know that your car is going to be there overnight and that you're camping out there in the wilderness. There are guidelines to backcountry camping in Joshua Tree, including you have to be at least a mile away from roads, at least 500 feet from trails, and not in the day use only area. So far the first part of this hike has been very sandy. It's like walking at the beach. So at the Boy Scout Trail, the day use only side is the east side of the trail and the camping side is the west side of the trail. And if you're hiking from Indian Cove, then the day use side is on the left and the camping side is on the right. Okay, so sun is officially down and I'm in the bottom of a wash, kind of in a canyon. So the rocky, rocky walls are high above me on either side. Well, not too high. And they're still walking in sand. And to camp for the night, I need to find a place that's 500 yards off the trail. And looking around, I think any place 500 yards off of this part of the trail looks like that. Okay, so it's even darker, but I found this little sort of like walkway. Okay, I think this looks like a good spot. Good thing, because it's really starting to get dark. So, just let me set it. This is going to be the very first time I use it. I'm so excited. Classic stove. It's not the most lightweight one, but it's super durable and easy. And I have my little Trader Joe's pack. I'm gonna get some water in there, and then ta da! Ooh. It's almost nine o'clock. It's just about nine o'clock and I'm about ready to go to sleep early. I was just about to lie down and then I was like, I love everything about this. I love this little tent. I love the sleeping bag I have. I love my headlamp. I love the little stove and the, the cook set. I love the reflective heat tarp that I put underneath the tent. I love my little sleeping mat. Everything is working out so great and this is just such an amazing time. I've never done this before. I've never gone somewhere where I've been completely alone and I mean I've done traveling, solo traveling before, but there's always been people. There's people I don't know and friends I haven't met yet and out here there's just nobody and it's beautiful. The mountains are are welcoming the stars are above and you can see the, the faint light of some city over over there and it's so pleasant it's so peaceful it's just so perfect
Good morning. So I made it my first night sleeping in the back country on my own. tent down and I'm packing everything up but I wanted to uh, mention that I'm practicing something called leave no trace which means that I pack everything out that I pack in and I did bring like toilet paper and I brought a plastic bag um, here's my toiletry bag and ladies sometimes you might need to bring these supplies and Again, you just pack everything out that you packed in. So as far as water goes, I brought in my Camelback, which carries three liters. And I have, I have a bottle of Gatorade that I got from Target on the way in. And I, have, I had one of these guys. So they recommend one gallon per day. And I'm basically backpacking in for for one day because I backpacked in in the mid-afternoon yesterday and I'm going back out in the mid-afternoon today and it'll be enough water. I hydrated really well before coming in and I have water in the car. It's also, the weather is beautiful. The highs are in the 80s and the lows were in the 60s. I think this is, it's November uh, 5th or 6th, I think November 6th today and it's the last pleasant weather in um, Joshua Tree. Well, pleasant for me. It's dropping down. The high is dropping down to 54 tomorrow and the night times are going to be in the 30s. So um, I knew I wanted to come today and enjoy this mild weather before really getting cold. And just in case it got cold, I brought with me like all these jackets. So I had my smart wool sweater. I have this nano puff jacket. Um, I have my fleece jacket and I have this other um, Columbia sort of longer in, uh, synthetic down jacket. All with hoods. I brought a hat. I have another smart wool base layer. Um, maybe a little overkill but I don't like to be cold. I also brought this which I learned from my friend Kate uh, a couple weeks ago, you can put it underneath the tent. It's a reflective blanket and then you put the reflective layer up and it'll reflect your body heat back up at you from the ground. I also have this quick dry towel. It's um, it's kind of a small one. I think this big. I mean, I'm pretty small. But it's more like a face towel or a hand towel, which is perfect for backpacking. And here we are, everything packed down into this tiny little bag. in from where I parked my car and then I camped about three miles in from where I parked and then I've been walking for about two miles already today um, going about half an hour per mile so two miles an hour and it feels like I'm out in the middle of nowhere but then it's really cool because then we run into these signs here and so I'm gonna take this little route to Big Pine I think it's a half a mile a uh, little walk in and then I'll turn around and walk back to the car well, I was looking for the big pine feature, but I think it was that big old dead tree that I saw and I took a picture of, right where it said the trail is not maintained anymore past this point. Okay, here's that sign, but that is not a pine tree. 
Anyways, I left my bag a little ways back because it was kind of the trail not being maintained. It was a little bit rocky, and so I was jumping over things. I decided to leave my bag. Anyways, I came to this little viewpoint right here. Very pretty. I'm gonna eat my lunch and head back. Okay, where did I leave my backpack? I'm driving on the highway and I'm not driving right now, I'm parked. But um, as I'm driving, I noticed something under my my windshield wiper and I was like, oh my God, what is that? I didn't see it earlier and I hope it's not a ticket. Anyways, I, I look at it and it has this cute little camping thing and a happy face and I was like, what is this? It says, you are rad, keep on walking. And then at Foam Kiwa and I have to look up it is but oh my god thank you this is so awesome totally made my day um i bet i know who it is because i met these uh walked past some couple of hikers and they were like obviously having a really great time so thank you guys i hope you guys keep on walking too and 